Redditors who lost their job because of a post to a social media platform. What happened? I've recently come into contact with a few people who lost their job over a Facebook-type social media outlet post, and it got me wondering, what kind of jobs take social media posts so seriously? I worked customer support for a mobile game company. I was honest with a disheartened customer who had complained that recent changes had made the game pay to win. It had, in truth, been a glitch with an update. I told them as much, assuring them the team would be fixing it in the next update. But then the game's profits skyrocketed. The team kept the glitch, and put out a statement describing the change as an intentional one designed to improve the play experience. But there was my name, plastered all over the game forums, claiming the opposite. I technically worked for a separate company that provided support for several studios, but the studio behind this game was our biggest customer. They approached my bosses, furious that I jeopardized their cash cow, and demanded I be fired. I promptly became familiar with the underside of the bus as I was gone within the week. TLDR, worked customer support for mobile games, told truth, went viral-ish, fired. Didn't lose my job, but I watched a friend lose his over a tweet. He tweeted, So getting head while delivering pizzas is pretty sweet, one night while he was working. The next morning, he tweeted, Yo, screw you, Papa John's, I don't need you or your stupid job anyway, or something to that effect. I've never laughed so hard in my life. I used to work for Geek Squad in college, and a coworker was fired when a famous actor came in and she posted on Facebook a lot of his private info. Like, full name came into her store and bought this and this, and has a black Amex card and stuff he had on his computer. Not once, but on two separate occasions. Worked at GameStop until 2010. The store was in a mall, and parents would always lead their kids in the store and go do their shopping. Sometimes the children would cry, sometimes they'd pee themselves, even had one number two. Parents would get mad at us for not bringing them to the bathroom, what the heck? Or start screaming at their kids for not just playing games for a few hours without causing any problems. I tweeted about how the store wasn't there to babysit children and never really thought about that tweet again. Until, a few months later, same thing. Parent drops kid off in store, leaves. 20 minutes later, an older looking guy is outside the store, on his flip phone, aiming it at the store. He's creeping me out, but I continue offering pointless warranties to customers while waiting for my next break, and then, I noticed him walk near the entrance of the store and ask that kid where his parents are. This seemed really fishy, and the guy looked beyond suspicious. I was thinking he could be a kitty diddler, and I was right. He gets the kid to go with him, I call up mall security so they could check it out, and they caught him before he left the mall. He was arrested. The kid was crying, asking for his mom who mall security could not reach because, as it turns out, she went to some stores outside of the mall area and she didn't actually come back for another two hours, at which point she threatened to sue me, GameStop, the mall, etc. Security guard lady told her that child services were called. They all walked away. That was the last time I saw them. A few days later, district manager, DM, shows up in store and I was fired on the spot because that lady made a complaint, DM found my Twitter, and informed me that my approach to yesterday's dilemma and my tweet about how GameStop isn't a babysitting service has made them believe that I don't have the quote, GameStop spirit. Both the manager and district manager told me I could use them as a reference on my resume though, which was great, until they both lost their jobs a few weeks later. A former colleague of mine posted about how he was going to use up all his sick leave and then quit. He posted it at 9 a.m. He was told he had no more job at 11. I was working as a bartender and server for a place. The assistant manager was a petty tyrant and treated the staff like crap. I had made several complaints about him to the general manager and the owner with some of the other staff, but they refused to do anything about it. So I was done with this place and was currently looking for a new job when one day I was bartending and a very young looking girl came. She hands me her out of state ID and I can tell that it is fake. I politely tell her that I can't serve her alcohol and explain that in this state we don't legally have to accept out of state IDs, blah blah blah. She was actually very understanding and there was no scene or issue. Her other friends arrive and they move to a table and I inform their server about the fake ID. It is around this time that the assistant manager who had been drinking Bloody Marys at the bar next door all morning and then napping in the office came over. He then starts telling me that I don't know what a fake ID looks like and I don't have the right to refuse service and how stupid I am. He then tells me I have to serve the girl. I inform him that I have the legal right to refuse service and he cannot force me to. Anyway, I go home and post on Facebook about my day and then include a photo of when I was managing a liquor store holding a device of medieval defense made out of all the fake IDs we had confiscated in one year. Also, a crown. 
The next day, I was called in and let go for refusing to cooperate with management and what have you. TLDR got fired for posting a sweet picture of me wearing a crown and holding a shield of fake IDs. Not me, but the company I work for. A prospective employee just passed his interview and was told that all he needs to do is pass a drug test and a physical and he would start on Monday. The company Facebook guy found the new hire on Facebook and the guy had just posted 20 minutes after the interview, crap, anyone know how to pass a drug test in 24 hours? I was younger and an idiot. I posted something on Facebook about wanting to go home and play The Sims so I could create telecommunications store I worked for on it and then slowly kill off all the customers. I was working a late night shift in a mall and forgot our new coworker had added me on Facebook days before. Joined a game studio alongside a guy who just finished his philosophy degree. He felt that the game's official forums were the best place to discuss whether disabled people would be, quote, of as much value as pigs after a post-apocalyptic event and if they should be simply slaughtered and eaten, all using his company account, of course. I, I don't even know where to begin with this. I don't have the mental or physical capacity to give this guy the verbal beatdown he so desperately deserves. And probably physical beatdown too while we're at it. I was let go from the nation's third largest insurance company for what were called offensive tweets. Apparently, someone with my similar name was tweeting vulgar things to comedy accounts and they brought me into HR and terminated me. Yes, I sued for wrongful termination so I could finish getting my MBA. I was once passed over for a job because I barely use Facebook. They straight up told me that they couldn't trust me because of how little info was on my page. For future reference, I'm sorry employers that 90% of my Facebook page is related to StarCraft and or miscellaneous gaming. I'm sorry that I don't get drunk and post embarrassing photos of things you could fire me over. My personal life is my business and not Facebook's. You must construct additional profiles. We require more discreditable posts. A company I worked for had it written into their seven-page contracts that you were not allowed to even reference said company on social media. Anyone in breach will be fired instantly. There's a page on Facebook called We Hate Blank that's currently one of the world's biggest corporate hate pages. It all started when someone working in our call center posted online about how much the customers suck. They began something of a war between the staff and customers, customers posting on employees' walls and vice versa. The company was slash is a major player in its market, essentially had a monopoly, and there was a noticeable drop in sales that year. All in all, around 20 people were fired. I work in a hospital, and there was a police shooting in my area a couple of years ago, and multiple officers were brought into our ER. One officer was dead on arrival, and a number of idiot hospital employees posted condolences on their Facebook pages with the name of the officer before the family was officially informed. If memory serves, seven or eight employees were rightfully fired for that one. It's amazing to hear all of the healthcare blunders. I work in an ICU and saw a pretty messed up violation of patient privacy. A nurse was trying to contact the wife of a patient of ours, but somehow got his ex-wife. The ex-wife lost her mind on the nurse and started demanding information. When we finally got a hold of the wife, it turns out that the patient has a restraining order on the ex-wife due to a bunch of issues and told us not to release any information. We marked the patient as confidential so she wouldn't be able to find him. The ex-wife kept calling us saying she knew he was still in there, what room number he was in, and other information that we never provided her. We were wondering how the ex-wife knew all of this, and how her name was listed as the next of kin. It turns out that her friend worked in the admitting department in the same hospital, and she was the one that A. updated the contact information, she apparently checks on his patient file constantly, and B. kept logging into one of our systems and released his health information, such as tests he's had, results to lab work, and reading history slash transfer slash discharge reports once the ex-wife told her that he was admitted to our unit. They apparently did this all the time whenever the ex-wife found out that her ex-husband was in our hospital for any reason. After a couple days of proper investigation, the admitting clerk was let go and fined for improperly accessing patient information slash release of information. She basically killed her career for her friend, as we basically only have one healthcare entity in our area. Not me, but a girl on my Facebook worked for the postal service in my town. She posted on Facebook how she wanted to slit her boss's throat and went into some pretty gory details. Then, about five hours later, she posted another status about how the feds showed up at her house and that one of her co-workers had showed her boss the status and she was now fired. She's obviously really dumb and trashy. I had to fire an employee for a tweet he wrote about a customer. 
he tweeted, customer's full name, would be a great name for a gay adult film star. I found out about it when the customer's lawyer called me the next day, threatening action. Turns out the guy worked for the local newspaper and obsessively searched his name on all social media. A little over a year ago, a bunch of employees at my old job got a rash. It wasn't contagious, our blood was clean, and the doctors were confused. I took steroids from day one and had it for a little over two weeks, I believe. I didn't even have it as bad as a couple people. Everyone continued to work, even though some people had it in exposed areas. Employees were itching and talking about it, but management did nothing. Even the manager had it, but the owner didn't, so he didn't care to take any action. Well, I posted a picture of my rash on Reddit and gave absolutely no information on where I worked. It got to the front page of r slash WTF and a coworker saw it and obviously recognized it. He showed people because he thought it was funny, but there was a coworker already out to get me and she was close with our manager. So they told the manager that I had posted the picture on Facebook, which obviously would have been a big deal. So the manager told me to leave, but said she would have the owner meet with me. I knew as soon as I got home that she wasn't going to tell the owner to contact me. But I was already planning to quit the next weekend, so I didn't bother to meet with him. I am not working at a place that allows the majority of their staff to get a rash and not investigate it. I should probably add that this was a restaurant. Not me, but my mom's ex-boyfriend. He was a waiter at a very elite restaurant and had normally expected very nice tips. Some guy left him a $5 tip for an over $100 bill and he got angry and posted the customer's information on Facebook. He got fired the next day. Wow, this blew up. It seems some people are making some pretty bad assumptions. So, he was actually a very good waiter. High-end restaurants really wanted him. It probably went to his head at some point because he started to pick up a drinking slash staying out late after work habit. He started having some issues with my mom as well, and they became roommates only. My mom moved out and he got really stressed, and I heard from his prior manager that he started getting strikes at work. He also frequently ranted on Facebook about bad customers. A while later, he posted the customer's info on Facebook and was fired. From what I know now, he's got a job at a bar, but is still drinking. He wasn't a bad guy by any means. He just started losing himself and making really bad choices. My mom still keeps in contact with his family, but from what I hear, it's still bad. I had to fire someone for one. He was a volunteer firefighter and left for a call, which I allowed. Fifteen minutes later, someone showed me his five-minute-old post of him riding quads, saying something along the lines of, Sometimes you just need to F off from work. That put him on a final warning. He then left because he said his house was on fire. Then half an hour later, his wife tagged him in a photo of him sitting in a kiddie pool in front of the house. The funny thing is, in both cases, if he had simply asked to leave early, I probably would have said yes. To clarify, this was over a few different days a few weeks apart, and he worked for me, but also volunteered as a firefighter. The fire chief also found out about this and dismissed him from that position as well. This guy had a few issues, needless to say, and honesty was not something with which he was familiar. My dad was in a similar position. The guy asked to leave early. My dad said yes. Then a half hour later, the guy posted that he was in the emergency room. We later learned that it was because he tore his urethra after he stuck a screwdriver in there. Edit. It was a Phillips. Oh my god, why is that so important to everyone? Okay. Reddit? Hi. It's me. The guy reading these posts. Don't stick things in your dingling where they don't belong. I remember reading about a guy who shoved a caulk gun up there one time, and I still cringed just as hard. So dingling havers of Reddit, please take care of yourselves because I don't want to have to read more about your trauma. It costs zero dollars to be nice to yourself. <laughs> My female friend, 18, was DM'd through Twitter by the news presenter, 37, of our city. He was talking about her beach pictures and how she is really pretty and how they need to get together. She ended up telling him that it's pretty ridiculous that he's trying to get with her. He lost his job later that week. The only real reason he lost his job was because he used the Weather Channel's Twitter account. Oh, this happened to me many years ago. I was on the job a week at a law firm and had to ride with one of the female employees to the UPS store. She was a terrible driver and almost wrecked multiple times. I posted on Facebook, one week on the job and my coworker is trying to kill me. Worst driver ever. The next day, I was called into my boss's office with a girl sitting there with an expressionless look on her face, and there was a printout of my post. It was awkward, and they fired me on the spot. All of my account information was also set to private, so they figured out a way to check my activity. 
Former Chipotle manager here. As many of you know, Chipotle gives away free crap on Halloween. So, it's a mandatory weekend for everyone to work. Well, one of our employees called off that Thursday saying he had swine flu. Right. Of course, he posted pictures of his weekend partying on his Facebook, upon which he was friends with our kitchen manager, general manager, and district manager. Per company policy and common freaking sense, you can't return to work from serious contagious stuff without a doctor's note. So he shows back up on Wednesday acting all fine and saying the dog cleared him. Oh, but his mom threw his release note away. Too bad, buddy. We need that crap or you can't work. Since we didn't know when he would have it, we only gave him one day on the schedule anyway. So then his mommy calls me and asks why he can't work. I ask her, if she went to a restaurant and found out a cook hadn't proven he was clear from having swine flu, would she eat there? She saw my point. But it's not his fault she threw away the note. They were remodeling. I asked, why can't the dog ride a new one? Well, he went on vacation. Couldn't the receptionist or a PA get them something? She huffed and hung up on me. The next day he puts on Facebook, Dear Chipotle and Managers, Instead of cutting hours on someone, why not grow the freaking balls to fire them outright? Suck my dingling. Pretty easy to let him go after that. I got fired from an internship for posting on Reddit before. It was a very small environmental engineering consulting firm. We were doing work on a site that had lead and arsenic contamination on it. The site was very dusty, and if it didn't rain for a few days, the dust would often kick up and blow onto the street next to the site, which happened to be the main road in this semi-smallish town. Someone mentioned on Reddit, in a totally unrelated way, that they were from this town. I made a mention of the contamination and told the dude that if he ever saw dust coming off the site that he should contact the engineers which were housed above one of the local bars. Apparently, this guy didn't really want the site to be redeveloped at all because of the already high congestion in the surrounding roads, and he called and complained and mentioned my post on Reddit. The company was so small it was obvious it was me who posted it, and I fessed up about what I had said and immediately deleted the post. Even though I didn't do anything illegal or even remotely immoral, I was fired because I was seen as a liability. Screw that. People deserve to know if the dust they're breathing in could give them cancer. I moved on to a different field, marine biology, and haven't even remotely looked back. Content warning, good old fashioned racism ahead. A girl I know was a nurse at a hospital and got fired for posting things on Facebook such as, so sleepy here in the ICU. Will someone please code and give me something to do? Hashtag, is that bad? I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I have to ask, is it like a Native American custom not to take a dump at home? Is it like an offense to their husbands to dump at home? Every time I go into a public bathroom and it smells like someone died in there, a native is washing their hands. Literally every single time. Like, <laughs> lay off the Navajo tacos. <laughs> the dumbest part about it was she was tagging the hospital she worked at in her posts. If you have to start your post with, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but, there's a good chance you're probably going to offend someone. Or just straight up be offensive under the guise of asking questions. I remember hearing a story about a young teacher in my province getting fired for posting vacation pictures to Facebook. Bikini. Margaritas. A dipstick parent or teacher reported it, as any uptight group of PTA mothers would want to defend young eyes from that. Oh, we can't have our children gazing upon such heresy, having fun, enjoying yourself. It brings torment to the soul. Oh! I didn't get fired, but I did get written up for a post on Facebook. It was about five years ago at my old job. Spring just started, and it was the first day it was in the 60s. On lunch, I posted something like, what a beautiful day. Can't wait to get out of work and enjoy it. Well, that didn't go over well. Funny thing is, I wasn't Facebook friends with anyone from work. They had one guy that would creep on people's Facebooks. This is when I learned about privacy settings. He told the boss and I got pulled in the office. They basically asked why I didn't like my job and why I couldn't wait to get out of work. I was like, it's the first warm day in what feels like six months. Of course I want to be outside. The reason I got written up was because I was, quote, on Facebook at work, even though I was on lunch. Bunch of idiots worked at that place. It's kind of surprising how delusional bosses are. 
Oh no, he might want to get off work and enjoy a nice day. Call him in! We must investigate what it means to be human! When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories linked at the top of the description. And if you like Am I the Genius, give Am I the Jerk a shot linked in the description too. Either way, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys next time.